back with another video after a very long time. Today's topic is Apexogenesis versus Apexification. So this is a very important topic theoretically as well as in your clinical practice. This is a frequently asked short note question from your final year pediatric dentistry. Now coming to the video, Apexogenesis and Apexification are the two mainly used procedures in pediatric dentistry. Both of them deals with an opening in the root apex. One is done in vital teeth and the other method is done in non-vital teeth. Let's understand them in detail. First let's know what apexogenesis is. Apexo meaning root and genesis meaning growth. So this treatment is to help with the growth of the root apex. So by definition it is defined as the treatment of a vital pulp by capping or pulpotomy in order to permit continued growth of the root and closure of the root apex. So it is the formation of root apex in vital young permanent teeth with appropriate vital pulp therapy. This may include direct pulp capping, indirect pulp capping and pulpotomy. So this is a very natural physiological process taking place. Therefore the main motto of this procedure is to keep the pulp alive. For that to do this procedure we have to maintain the integrity of the radicular pulp so that it will allow the continued growth of the root apex. So what are the indications? In a normal pulp tissue with minimal inflammation is present, normal root end development occurs. So uh, this uh, procedure can be used in uh, a traumatized tooth, palpably involved vital permanent teeth when the root apex is incompletely formed or when there is no history of spontaneous pain, when no sensitivity on percussion, no hemorrhage and normal radiographic appearance. Now let's study the contraindications as well. Necrotic pulp, purulent drainage, history of prolonged pain and periapical radiolucency. So in all such cases, apexogenesis is not the treatment option. Now coming to the procedure, let's learn how this treatment is done. First, by giving a proper anesthesia and rubber dam is placed then and after that we remove all the infected pulp, care should be taken to prevent damage to radicular pulp. After rinsing all the residual debris and hemorrhage is controlled, we keep the calcium hydroxide mixture followed by a temporary restoration and after that follow up is done after 3 months. You have to check the root development by taking radiographs. Once root development is complete, the conventional root canal treatment is done. So that's all about apexogenesis. So this is the figure showing apexogenesis. In the first picture you can see uh, the traumatic injury to young permanent teeth and the second one calcium hydroxide apexogenesis is done and after that a continued root growth with maintenance of vitality can be seen. Now coming to apexification. Apexo meaning root apex and fixation meaning to make or to create or to induce or it is the fixation of root or closure of the root apex. By definition, it is a method of inducing apical closure by formation of a mineralized tissue in the apical region of a non-vital permanent tooth with an incompletely formed root apex. So here we have to induce the root development that is there is no physiological or natural process meaning it itself cannot do the root growth and it is done in non-vital teeth. So in this procedure what we are doing is we are making or creating a barrier at the open apex. So in this apexification basically we are filling the canals with some materials so that a barrier is formed at the apex. Indications It can be used in non-vital permanent teeth with open apex that is a blunderbuss canals. In cases like this we cannot do RCT directly because of the open apex. So uh, we need to seal the root end by keeping uh, some of the materials like zinc oxide, eugenol, tricalcium phosphate, collagen calcium phosphate gel, calcium hydroxide and mineral trioxide aggregate. Now coming to the procedure, you have to give a proper anesthesia followed by a rubber dam placement and then we remove the entire pulp which contain the debris and necrotic pulp. And after that we keep the material such as calcium hydroxide and MTA and 
recall the patient after 3 months after 3 months we check if it is asymptomatic or symptomatic if symptomatic we repeat the procedure that is clean the canals again keeping the material and then temporary restoration then after 3 to 6 months an iopia is taken and we check if there is root closure you can check it by using a file also if root development is complete then rct is done so uh, this procedure is a lengthier process it might take 6 to 24 months to complete so uh, this is the figure showing apexification the first picture shows the tooth apex is not closed and root canals are infected and then the root canals were cleaned and medicament is placed the root canals are bacteria free and the apex is finally closing so this is again a figure showing apexification and you can see a thick calcific barrier formed uh, in the third picture and then finally the root end is closing as you can see in the last picture so these are the type of questions asked from this topic that is a uh, short notes apexogenesis apexification and uh, differentiate between apexogenesis and apexification so thank you for watching if you liked our video and find it useful please like share and follow you can also follow us on instagram and if you are new to our channel please subscribe and also press the bell icon so that you get notifications when we upload a new video So thank you